In this tutorial, we'll cover how to set up agents in Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. So I'm logging in as an administrator. And to configure agents, we go to Options and Agents. Here we can see the agent machines that have been set up in this installation of Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. So we have one agent machine, which is running on the server itself, and we have another agent machine, which is running on an external server. And you can add as many agent machines as you need. You can also configure the count of agents that are running on each machine. And again, you can bump up or adjust the number of agents that are running on any machine very easily. The number of agents determines the number of concurrent scans that this machine can perform at any time. If you intend to perform a large number of scans in parallel, you will typically need to create a number of agent machines and configure them. There are system requirements for agent machines, and these depend on the number of agents that you intend to run on the machine. Please refer to the product documentation for more details of those. So let's see how you add a new agent machine. Now I'm on a different server where I plan to install a Burp Suite Enterprise Edition agent. Enterprise Edition can run on Windows, Linux, or MacOS, and you can have a mix of different operating systems in your installation if you wish. So I'm gonna show an installation on Windows. So I'm running the installer, and I'm gonna to select to just install the Enterprise Agent. I need to tell it the host name or the IP address of the server which is running Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. You need to configure details of the database that you are running in your installation. For this installation, we're using the embedded database which is suitable for evaluation or proof of concept purposes. The installer then shows us the fingerprint for this agent. So in a moment, we'll go back to Enterprise Edition Server and we will see an authorization request from this agent with this fingerprint. So you should make a note of this fingerprint and verify that the authorization request came with the right one. So that's everything that we need to do on the agent machine to make the installation. So if we go back to the web interface for the Enterprise Edition UI, we can now see we have an authorization request pending and we can see the fingerprint of the public key that was displayed while we were installing on the agent machine. So now we simply need to authorize this request. Now we can see that the new agent machine has appeared in the list and it's available for scanning. At this point, I can set the number of assigned agents for this machine. And if I wish, I can give this agent a more convenient name. At the bottom of this page, we can see the total number of agents that we have assigned, and we can see the number of unassigned agent licenses that are available to be assigned. So Enterprise Edition is licensed by the number of agents that you have. And this means the number of concurrent scans that you could perform. If in your scan list, you see entries showing waiting for agent, this means that you've reached the limits of the number of agents that you have, and you can resolve that by adding more agents. Burp Suite Enterprise Edition's licensing model is extremely flexible. It lets you scan as regularly as you wish and across your entire estate. There are no limitations on the number of URLs, the number of domains or servers that you can scan, just the number of concurrent scans, depending on the number of agents that you have. So that's how to set up agents in Burp Suite Enterprise Edition.